Martin PBM Mariner History of the Aircraft In 1937, Martin, with its Model 160 design, entered a competition for a four-engine flying boat for the U.S. Navy. The winner was consolidated with its PB-2Y Coronado, while Martin did not even make it to the finals and was not ordered to build a prototype. However, because of its high cost, the PB-2Y was not mass-produced. The Navy needed a flying boat with superior parameters to the Catalina, but cheaper than the Coronado. In this situation, Martin's designers promptly redesigned the two-motor model 162. This flying boat was equipped with new powerful Wright R2600 Cyclone engines, providing a significant increase in flight performance over the Catalina and at a much lower price than the four-engine machine. On June 30, 1937 Martin received an order to build the XPBM-1 prototype. The Model 162 used a narrow high fuselage and a gull-type wing with engines mounted at the brake points. The wing had a large elongation, 9.89, as well as advanced mechanization some with electric drives. Underwing floats were retracted into special niches towards the fuselage. The double-keel plumage allowed the advantageous location of the rear firing point and significantly expand the sector of fire over the fuselage turret. In determining the composition of the Model 162 small arms, a logical choice was made in favor of modern turrets designed by Martin himself although they were not yet ready. The Martin XRVM-1 prototype first flew on February 18, 1939. It was powered by our 2600-6 engines rated at 1600 horsepower. During tests, the plane showed, without exaggeration, outstanding data. At an altitude of 11,975 feet, and the flight range with a take off weight of 20,242 pounds reached 2,600 nmi, 3,000 miles. At the initial stage of flight tests, the prototype did not yet have defensive weapons, the place of the nose turret was closed with a temporary fairing. After some modifications, Stabilizer arms received a transverse V of about 18 degrees, the lower part of the boat was redesigned, etc. In September 1939, the production of new flying boats was sanctioned. A total of 1,366 mariners were produced until 1949. Martin PBM Mariner Flight Technical Characteristics of the Aircraft Power Plant Two right are 2600-614 cylinder radial engines, 1600 horsepower, 1194 kilowatts each. Maximum speed, 205 miles per hour, 330 kilometers per hour. Range, 3000 miles, 4800 kilometers. Service ceiling, 19800 feet, 6040 meters. Rate of climb, 800 feet per minute, 4.1 meters per second. Combat use of the aircraft Two squadrons, VP-55 and VP-56, received Martin PBM-1 seaplanes. The latter was soon reorganized into a training unit. VP-55, later renamed to VP-74, from July 1941 served as a neutral patrol, based in Newfoundland and Iceland. In January 1942 she was redeployed to Bermuda, and June 30 of the same year VP-74 achieved her first victory, the crew of our Schroeder sank the submarine U-185. Beginning deliveries of PBM, 3C aircraft in the fall of 1942 allowed by the spring of the following year to rearm VP-32 and to staff the newly formed squadrons VP-201, VP-207. VP-32 operated over the Caribbean Sea, using bases in the Panama Canal Zone, Cuba and Puerto Rico. All seven newly formed squadrons, together with VP-74s, became part of the FAW-16 wing, designed to patrol the South American coast from Trinidad in the north to Recife, Brazil, in the south. 
By November 1943 the Mariners had formed VP-208 to VP-216 squadrons. These units, which along with the PBM-3S also received the PBM-3S variant, were mainly part of the FAW-12 wing that covered the approach to the Panama Canal from both the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific. In addition, between 1943 and 1945, the Coast Guard received 37 PBM, 3S aircraft, which operated them until the end of the war. July 1943 was a very fruitful year for the Mariner squadrons, when VP-74, stationed in Brazil, sunk the U-513 and U-199 submarines, and three U-159, U-759 and U-359 submarines were victims of VP-32. On August 3, 1943, the VP-205 sank U-572 off Trinidad, although the submarine's anti-aircraft gunners managed to shoot down the Mariner, and the PBM-3C of VP-204 and VP-205, together with other aircraft, sank U-615 after a long hunt. During July-August 1943, the Mariners sank, alone or in cooperation with other forces, half of the 10 U boats Donuts had dispatched to the Caribbean Sea and a third of the six submarines sent to the coast of Brazil. The Mariner's string of successes in the Atlantic was completed by H. Patterson's crew of VP-74. On September 27, 1943, on the approach to San Salvador, Brazil, he sank the submarine U-161. The Martin PBM Mariner was one of the best seaplanes of World War II. Built in fairly large numbers, it was vastly superior to its direct competitor, the Consolidated's PBY Catalina seaplane. Martin's product had a more modern design and better flying characteristics, including flight speed and payload. Nevertheless, the Mariner did not catch the glory of the Catalina, remaining in the shadow of its more famous classmate throughout the war. 